Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. This is the final part of our Introduction to Connect Effects series. We'll explore useful methods for arranging composites, using node notes for reminders, and look at useful ways to simplify the ConnectFX schematic. The creative toolset available to you in Smoke 2013 helps you to build very complex composites with relative ease. The power of ConnectFX lies in its node-based effects workspace, which enables you to approach a job using so many different techniques and tools. However, as your effect flows grow in size in ConnectFX, you'll find that organization becomes vital to being efficient and fast when creating and modifying your visual effects. In this final episode of the Introduction to ConnectFX series, we'll run through a few tips that I've personally found to be really helpful when building effect composites inside Smoke 2013. One of the main things I find helpful is to keep the ConnectFX schematic clearly arranged. As you add multiple effect nodes, you may find that you have many different streams of effects branching out across your effect workspace. While keeping it all tidy may seem obvious and logical, what I find helps a lot is to arrange the streams of effect nodes in a way that represents their appearance in the composite. As you add in layers of effects, try and arrange the node streams in a way that clearly shows what nodes belong to a certain part of the effect. And then with the last node in a stream, turn on the small proxy image so that it gives you a visual representation of the nodes. Simply double click on the yellow output connection of the last node in a certain stream and this will give you a small preview showing you the result of the effects up until this point. To consolidate larger node flows, you are able to group nodes. Grouping together nodes help you to tidy up the schematic. Simply select a collection of nodes and use the right click menu and choose group. You're still able to jump into the node and gain access to each individual node and make changes. Select Exit Group 1 to exit back to the main ConnectFX schematic. A new feature in pre-release 3 is the ConnectFX clip. This is very similar to grouping nodes where it condenses a number of nodes into a single clip, but it comes with the huge benefit of being able to render this ConnectFX clip and greatly improve the interactivity of the ConnectFX composite as it no longer has to process all of the nodes that make up the clip. Select the last node in a series and right click the node and choose Create CFX. Smoke will take all the nodes prior to the selected node and condense it down into the new CFX clip. Now you can remove the existing series of nodes and reconnect in its place the newly created ConnectFX clip. You can easily expand the ConnectFX clip at any stage to gain access to the original nodes and make changes, then simply create a CFX clip again and re-render. Rendering a selected CFX clip is performed by accessing the timing menu. Now make sure the new ConnectFX clip is selected in the timing pane here in the middle. Then press Render, which is located here at the bottom. Your CFX clip will now be cached and help increase the speed of interaction of your ConnectFX composite. Here's a useful tip that's not only helpful to yourself, but also helpful to others that may pick up the job you're currently working on. Node Notes With the node selected, press the keyboard shortcut Shift-V. This activates the note editor. In the pop-up window that appears, you can add helpful notes or reminders about why a specific node has been used in the ConnectFX schematic. As you move the node around the schematic, the node stays connected with the node you added it to. Not only helpful to others, but serves as a useful reminder if you open a project some months later. It saves you having to guess what your thought processes were at the time. You can also drag a note in from the ConnectFX node bin. However, unlike a node note, these notes are independent of a node and are not connected to any of the ConnectFX schematic elements. And finally, when working in ConnectFX, an extremely important habit to get into is actually saving your ConnectFX schematic or individual nodes. With the new Smoke 2013, ConnectFX settings can easily be transferred between clips back on your timeline. But as an extra safety net, I find you should always save your ConnectFX schematic separately. Click the drop down arrow here beside the save menu and select save as. This lets you save the entire ConnectFX node schematic as a setup. Especially important during the Smoke pre-release trial as this is beta software you are working with and it may contain bugs that have not yet been discovered. Think of it this way, if you spend any length of time creating an effect 
and you don't wish to build defect again, save it. You can even save a single node or a selection of nodes by choosing Save Selected Items As. The time taken to organize and save your Connect Effect schematics and nodes will definitely help you as you gain experience with Smoke 2013. That was the final installment of this series introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, ConnectFX. Thank you for watching. Head across to our website and do get in touch. I'd love to hear your feedback on our tutorials or perhaps you've got a suggestion for a topic for us to cover in future videos. Stay tuned for future episodes of Smoke Training that provide you with short, clear tutorials to get you up to speed on the basics, fast. <laughs> Oh.